Hello everyone, what is up? It's Missy Doopop here, and just like the title of this video says, we're gonna be remaking my old Fakemon starters. I made these three Fakemon like two and a half years ago, maybe three at this point, I'm not quite sure, uh, before I knew anything about how Pokemon were made or the guidelines the Pokemon company use when they make their Pokemon starters or Pokemon in general. Um, these, these Fakemon really don't look that much like Pokemon, and I thought it would be fun to see my growth as a Pokemon creator and remake my old Fakemon region starters. Some of them look somewhat similar in the end, and some of them look completely different. If you're excited to see what they'll look like and want me to do more of these, do me a favor and click that like button. Anyway, enough of my blabbling though, let's get started. As I said, I made this region a few years ago, and I like to think I've come a long way making Pokemon-wise. If you'd like to see me um, take a look at this old region, make fun of it and stuff, as it sat, you know, untouched for many years, click the iCard up there in the corner, it'll take you to a playlist, um, and I do just that. Now, I, now, anyway, I decided to start with my fire starter first. This little guy is Hamaze. I decided to first draw its old design so I could have it right there to look at. This starter is based on a hamster. <sighs> Not even using the Chinese zodiac. Classic youngster missy move. And I haven't had much practice drawing hamsters, so I first started with this trying to draw a hamster. Not any Pokemon like features attached. Except that fire tail, because why not? I knew I wanted this design to be very circular, because circular Pokemon are just so dang cute. Next, I tried to redraw the hamster shape, ready to start brainstorming ideas. But I didn't like how the hamster's body shaped look, um, but it did help me practice hamster some more. I started again, shaping out some basic shapes. I knew I wanted to keep the fire cheeks because I thought they looked so cool. But with this new way I was drawing the hamster, I was having some trouble getting that to look natural or anything like that. Then I thought, what if I gave it like stuffed cheeks, like like Squad it has? I messed around with that idea a bit and moved on to fixing the body shape. I made a little, I made it a little slender, but tried to keep that circleness of it. Uh, I then added the little tail, and then it was feet time. Ugh, have you ever noticed how cute little, little hamster feet? They are so cute. Ugh. Back on topic, I added the front paws and worked on the belly and the little details here and there. I then worked on the other flame cheek thing, but for some reason I didn't record it, so I guess we're just gonna skip that part. And here's the finished line art. I gave it a little buck teeth, you know, because the old description said that it loves to chew, and I thought maybe I could do something with these teeth in a later evolution. And now, the comparison. Before we do the final review, though, I have very shocking news. Only 42.2 of those watching my videos are subscribed. If you're part of the 57.8 that hasn't subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button. It's the red button below the video. It's completely free. All you gotta do is tap it, and you'll be helping me out and you out too. Anyway, back to the reveal. Let's start off with Hamaze's old design. Hamaze, the fire hamster Pokemon. Hamaze love to chew. Their tails never go out even when they get wet. This Pokemon loves to nap and to be petted on its tummy. So let's compare this to the newer design. Hamaze, the fire type Pokemon. Hamaze may be tiny, but they can pack a punch. They love to chew on crispy wood because it makes their teeth stronger. Hamaze tail flames can burn through steel. And as you can see, there is the new design that we worked on today. So, are you more of a fan of the older design or the newer design of Hemes? Let me know down below in the comments section. Here I have a side-by-side -side comparison so you can really see the differences and hopefully the growth as a Pokemon creator. I'm pretty proud of where I am now. If you take a look at the old one compared to the new one, I think it just looks better all around. I put a lot of time into both of these designs, but one of them was when I was first on, when I was just first getting into making Fakemon and didn't know that much about it. And now, this is how much I've grown. Next up, it's time for the grass starter. I actually took a little break after working on Hamaze, so I'd been thinking about this little guy's design for a little while. I did a quick little sketch of how I wanted the body shape to look like. And I had a ton of reference images of ferrets pulled up. Oh, oh, its name is Ferrety, and it's based off of a ferret. I probably should have mentioned that. 
Anyway, um, so as I said, I had a pretty good idea of how I wanted Ferrati's new design to look after thinking about it for a little while, just in the back of my head as I was doing other stuff. Uh, collecting sticks played a huge role in this Pokemon's evolution, so I really wanted to incorporate it into the design more. I decided that to give it like a little leaf bag purse thing, like they collect sticks in there, they keep it in this bag. It, this guy's a big warrior. And I really wanted to incorporate that into the design more as well. So I decided to give it a pose that looked a little more nervous, I guess. It has its hands on its bag strap, like, ready, just in case someone tries to steal its stick. Poor guy. I decided it would be standing up so the front paws could be used for this pose I had in mind. I decided I was pretty much all the way ready and decided to just jump into the final design. I messed with the tail for a little bit, trying to decide what pose that would have. Um, I, as you can see, I kept the leaves on its face, which was in its original design. The leaves were supposed to be whisker-like, so I worked on that in this newer design, trying to make that a little bit more obvious. Changed the forehead leaf a bit, but I kept it. I kind of liked that. I really like how it turned out. I also changed its ears, so they'd look a little bit more ferret-like. Next up, it was time for the stick purse thingy. <laughs> Then, after I worked on that, I worked on the tail a bit more, trying to make it look like it did in the original design. But then I changed it, making it look more like a flower instead. I wanted to incorporate the fact that it was a grass type more into the design, and I thought this would be a cool way to do it. And similar to Hamaze's buck teeth, I thought it would be cool to add on later in the evolution, make the flower really a part of the design or something. I worked on its feet, and then boom, all done. Here's the line art version. And then it was time to digitalize it. Is that, is that even a word? Like, what? I also decided it was time to try out some more of the typical Pokemon shading, drawing, coloring styles. So I really worked on that. Uh, anyway, here's the final design and the comparison to the old one. Ferreti, the grass fair Pokemon. Ferreti are quite the little pranksters. They often get in trouble for it. They think that they are secretly collecting sharp sticks, but their trainers are warned about it. So here is the old classic design, versus the newer one that we were working on today. Ferreti, the grass type. Ferreti collect their favorite sticks in their handbags. Their whisker leaves can sense movement around them. They are very anxious Pokemon, and they have trouble calming down. Here is the newer design that we were working on today. Now. Let's take a look at the difference between the old and the new design for Fair T. Do you like the old one or the newer one better? Let me know down below in the comment section. This new design, I love the new design so much. And let me know down below in the comment section if you do too. Here you can really see the comparison, and you can see that this one has really changed a lot. Now it's time for the final starter, the water starter. This is Aquan, a water wolf pup. This one is definitely going to be the hardest to redesign. I'm pretty bad at drawing wolves and wolf pups, so I first needed to practice that a bit. And I think in my opinion, this starter looks the least like a Pokemon out of all of all three of them. I really needed to work on it. And I end up completely changing it in the end. Anyway though, I had tons of reference photos pulled up and got to work practicing on wolves. I finally got a pose that I figured would look cool and got to work making a larger final version, jumping right in. It took forever to get the body shape figured out, but once I did, I got right to work on pokefying it. Yeah, that's a that's a word. After working on the face a bit, I decided to try to make it look more like a water type. This wolf was going to be part fish, like a merwolf. I added a tail because I thought that would be really cool and some paw fin things. I worked on the face design. I added eyelids in an attempt to make it look a little cuter because Pokemon stars always seem to just be really cute and stuff, you know? But uh, I, I, I later on decided that I didn't like them very much and would get rid of the eyelids later on. I added the face markings, which makes it look a little bit more husky-like. I tried adding some more designs and decided to, to, to borrow an idea from a book series I really like. You know, it's just borrowing. In Wings of Fire, a book series by 2ET Sutherland, I definitely recommend reading it. It's amazing. It's about dragons and prophecies, and it's right up my alley. Anyway, one of the species of dragons there are water dragons, and they can communicate underwater with light-up stripes because, you know, you can't really talk underwater, you know. I decided that Aqua needed something like that, too. They spend most of their time underwater. Of course, they would need a, a way to communicate to other Aqua. It would also provide light because they can line it up whenever they want. I then added a back fin, like dolphins and sharks have, to help it zoom through the water quickly. 
and I then worked on the line art. It was then time to work on the digital version. And now it's time for the old versus new Aquan comparison. This is the old design. Many think that Aquan are always crying, but that's not true. The tears on its face are just water that is permanently there. Its tail is a drop of water, which slightly boosts its powers. The smaller the droplet, the less powerful any water move they know is. And let's compare that to the newer one, shall we? The one we worked on today. Aquan, a water type. Aquan tend to live in pods underwater with other Aquan. They use their light up stripes to communicate and as a light source. They love chasing, chasing Magikarp in their free time. And as you know, there's the new design that we spent so much time working on today. To wrap this all up, let's take a look at the old versus new design for Aquan. This one probably, uh, maybe Ferrety, but either Ferrety or Aquan had the most design changes made. Like, you can really see the difference between this. Really the only thing similar now is the fact that it's a wolf and that it has the tear eyes. Once again, like I said with the other two, do you like the older one or the newer one more? Let me know down below in the comment section. I personally am a fan more of all these newer ones, but I can I like the old ones, but they're just not really that up to date, if you know what I mean. So, which of these three Fakemon is your favorite? If the professor gave you a chance to pick one to be your partner Pokemon, which one would you choose and why? Let me know down below in the comment section because I would love to know your answers. I think that I would personally choose, um, well to be honest I've got no idea. Uh, I love them all. I had a ton of fun remaking these old Fakemon region starters. And if you enjoyed it too, make sure you click that like button. It's just right below this video. It, it looks like a thumbs up, it's not that hard to miss. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you click that red subscribe button right below the video. It's completely free, it'll help me out, and it'll help you out too, because it makes it a lot easier to find my videos. Pretty soon I'll be making a whole new Fakemon region, just the whole region, um, so you can look forward to that. And if you guys want me to make more, remake more of my old Fakemon, be sure to let me know. Anyway, I think it's time I get going, doing some other stuff I gotta do. I gotta go edit a few videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an amazing day. This is Missy Doopop, signing off. See you all next time.